Let's talk about your forecast. Blue skies continue here in the FM area as we look in on our Luther family Ford view I 29 and the 32nd Avenue exit. Here is a look at our current conditions. It's hot out there and some of us are uh, kissing that 90 degree mark here in Fargo right now out at the airport. It is 86 degrees. Same thing at Moorheads Airport. Our winds now southerly a little on the gusty side to around 20 to 25 miles per hour throughout our afternoon. All in all, it's hot across the region. Look at the dry grass there on the dike in Grand Forks, 90 degrees winds gusting from the south also over 30 miles per hour as of the latest reading. We have a lot of mid and upper 80s. Look at Fergus Falls though. You've joined the 90 degree club, 99 in Bismarck, 96 Minot, several 90s out in our western counties as well, Oaks. 91 degrees and we do have babe the blue ox saying it's pretty warm out here for the first day of fall and 85 degrees. Just a couple of clouds as we look from uh, just north of Winnipeg all the way back into the big sky country of Montana. Here's the cold front starting to punch its way down and as it does work its way in, it is going to bring cooler weather as we close out our work week and begin our weekend. But some of us could see some thunder tonight and your hour by hour forecast displays when here is a look at your evening planner though. Get out and enjoy. Remember, it'll be breezy and hot. Stay hydrated out there. Temperatures do after sunset slip into the 70s. There's that blue line. That is the cool front starting to work its way into our northern and western counties as we go through the overnight hours. So we have nothing for the evening, but then overnight out in advance of the cold front, a chance for a few spotty thunder showers. The risk of severe is quite low, in part due to the timing of this system coming after dark. I've paused this at about three in the morning, and there you could see as we uh, get into the daybreak hours, the Southern Valley and a few uh, spotty showers or rumbles of thunder up north as well. There could be some small hail with this, but again, the risk for anything severe quite low. Notice temperatures along the front near 70, but we are in the 50s up to the north and west and the wind switches direction. It's from the south now by tomorrow morning. All of us will have a brisk wind out of the north and that wind will peak at about 30 miles per hour. Once again, look at temperatures for your Friday midday near 70 for most areas and in the afternoon will be 70 to 75. A big cool down from those 90 degree temperatures we're seeing today, particularly in our northern and western counties. A quiet night and the wind does settle down late as well. So your Friday late forecast looks to be the best time of the day. So morning clouds 66 in Fargo. Temperatures ramp up, but only into the mid 70s. The clouds will decrease. The wind will be gusting over 25 miles per hour at times, but later in the day about that dinner hour and beyond things start to settle down and the skies clear for most of us as well. The coolest weather will be in northern Minnesota and the northern Red River Valley as we'll see low 70s there, mid 70s for many of us here in the southern valley and a beautiful shot from the Hankinson area there, Lake Elsie at Legion Park. Here's a look at your forecast 75 on Saturday. Saturday morning, by the way, some low 40s are going to happen. Will there be an upper 30? Well, it is fall and that's not out of the question. We start a rebound on Sunday near 80 degrees, but breezy. And then on Labor Day, 86 degrees. It looks like mid and upper 80s all week next week as it's back to work and school. And you're going to cruise night later? Cruise night later. Hope to see you out there. That's in Moorhead at the Moorhead Center Mall. A lot of cars will be out there and the weather is spot. You're bringing your 1975 AMC Pacer. Is well, I was going to, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to get the fish out of that <laughs> okay. and it's still. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Take a look at this massive hailstones the size of baseballs in eastern Spain. Witnesses say it looks like watching ice bombs fall from the sky. Hailstones were four inches in diameter, smashing car windows, even killing a young child. The city official says the hail only fell for 10 minutes, but it was 10 minutes of terror. The largest hailstone ever recorded in the U.S. fell in South Dakota in 2010. The National Weather Service says it measured eight inches in diameter and weighed just under two pounds. Up next